Hey, thank you so much for joining. Let's go ahead and get started in our practice. You're gonna come down all the way to the floor in Shavasana pose. Just a friendly reminder, if you're looking for some music during this practice, you can go to Apple Music and search for any yoga on Apple Music. And the specific playlist for this practice is called Enneagram Type 1 Playlist. So Type 1 Enneagram Playlist. Let's go ahead and lower all the way down. Spread your feet out wide. Hands come up, facing up. Take a big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. We're here just for a couple breaths to find ourselves on the mat. Take another big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Come to the mat with your mind and with your body. Inhale your hands up overhead, point your toes, stretch it out. Exhale. You're going to take your toes over to the right side of the mat and your tippy fingers to the right side. So kind of making, <laughs> kind of making a crescent shape with your body, stretching out the left side body. Breathe into it. Keep everything down on the mat. Exhale, switch sides. Walk your feet and your hands over other side. Big stretch. Big breath in. Coming back to Shavasana. Stamp your feet on the mat, take a breath in, and push your hips up for bridge pose. Walk your hips out to side, just gently. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, bring your feet up to your hands, knees up to your armpits, sway side to side for happy baby. Massaging out the low back. Take a breath in, bring your knees to center. Start rocking the length of the mat. Whoa. All the way until you get enough momentum to come to a tabletop. From tabletop position, fingers are spread wide. Take a breath in, drop your belly, gaze up, look up. Exhale, scoop your belly out, look back at your thighs, press into your shoulder blades. Let's do that again. Breath in, lower the belly, look up, look out. Exhale, scoop it out for cat. One more time, lower the belly, look up. Exhale, scoop it out, look back at your thighs. Beautiful, coming back to a neutral spine. Take your hands, one hand put it lower they are, curl your toes, push back, downward facing dog. Walk your dog out, take and bend one knee, lift the heel, take and bend the other knee, lift the heel. Push your chest towards your thighs. Big breath and look up towards the top. Walk your hands to meet your feet. Take a breath in, place your hands on your shins, straighten up the spine. If you want, if you have blocks, you can use blocks here or halfway lift. Exhale, release. Heel toe your feet out, hip width distance. Grab onto opposite elbows, sway side to side, ragdoll pose. Bring your hands down to the mat, heel toe your feet together. Place your hands on your shins, straighten up the spine. Exhale, release. Inhale, come all the way up. Tadasana. Exhale, your hands down to heart center. Inhale your hands up, exhale. You're gonna interlace your fingers, two index fingers pointing upward, and then rock your hips to the right as you tilt to the left. Inhale up through center, opposite side. Side moon, half moon. Inhale back up to center. And you're gonna push your hips forward. Let God is your arms or cactus your arms. Knee back. Exhale, hands come up and coming all the way down. Inhale, place your hands on your shins, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, step back to plank.
from plank position, coming up on your tippy toes, bend your elbows lower all the way down. Inhale, place your hands by your face. Take a breath in, peel your forehead and chest off the mat. Little turn away in your hands, baby cobra. Take a big breath in, exhale, release. Slide your hands down under your shoulders. Breath in, come on up. Regular cobra, there's weight in our hands. We're looking down, slide the shoulders away. Exhale, release. Slide your hands down by your chest. Take a breath in, peel your forehead, chest, abs off the mat. Tops of the hands, tops of the feet. Take a breath in. Uncurl your toes, push back, down the facing dog. Big breath in, open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Inhale your right hand, up the right foot, up to the sky. Exhale, step it all the way through. Inhale, come on up, high crescent lunge. Take a breath in, exhale, open up, warrior two. You want to make sure that your heel is aligned to the back, middle of your back arch, and we're sinking down low. Slide the shoulder blades away from the ears, looking over the front of our middle finger. <sighs> nice and strong here. Warrior two for warrior, you got this. Take a breath in, lower the elbow down to the knee. Side angle, make sure this hip comes down and doesn't come up, no cheating down here. Big breath in, you can look up or down, up to you. And reverse, everything here stays the same. Hand comes up, take a big breath, exhale, curl your hands down to the floor. Step back to plank. Shift forward on your tippy toes, lower down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in, open mouth, exhale. Let's do that again on the left side. Inhale, the left up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, come up, high crescent lunge. Sink low, take a breath in. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Sink down low into it. Make sure that that heel is aligned to the back of your arch. Big breath in. And elbow comes down. Make sure your hip isn't up down here. Take a big breath in and side angle. Reverse. Reverse in our warrior. Breath in. Cartwheel your hands down to the floor. Step back to plank. Shift forward. Lower halfway. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Big breath in, open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Let's do that again a couple more times. One breath per movement. Right leg comes up, exhale. Step it through. Inhale, crescent lunge, exhale. Warrior two, breath in for length. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the floor. You can either take this or skip it, shifting forward halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left comes up. Step it through. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Breath in for length. Exhale, side angle. Reverse. Exhale, couple your hands down to the floor. Step back to plank, shift forward, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in, <sighs> your mouth exhale. One more time, the right comes up, step it through. Inhale, exhale. Find length, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Step back, shift forward. Inhale, exhale. Big breath in, exhale. <sighs> Inhale, left comes up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, exhale. Final length, exhale. Reverse. Exhale, step back. <clears throat> Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Your heart rate's up a little bit, which is great. Inhale the right leg up to the sky. 
Exhale. Yeah, step it through. Heel toe your foot out to the width of the mat. You can either stay up here, come back to your forearms, or if you want, lower your bottom foot. Up to you. We're here in runner's lunge for a little bit. If you have a block, you're welcome to create some height. Stay here on your forearms. So this knee is out, and if you want, you can go on the edge of your foot. But otherwise, we're just staying here in runner's lunge. Notice how this left inner thigh is really opening up. Oh, breathe into it. Take a breath, lower your hands down. If you have any block, go ahead and remove them. You're gonna heel toe your foot back to the center. Curl your toes, lift up. So you're here kind of in a lunge. You're gonna take a breath in, come on up to high crescent. Bring your hands down to heart center. Then scoop your belly out. You're taking the, ooh, the left elbow and hooking it and twisting. Twisted prayer pose. Take a breath in. On twist, step back to plank. Push back downward facing down. Big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, the left comes up. Exhale, step it through. You're gonna lower the back, heel, the back knee down if you want or keep it up, up to you. Heel to your foot out to the width of the mat. And we're gonna sink forward. Notice how my hips are going forward. Make sure that, that knee is not tracking over your ankle like that. There's some space for your joints. And again, if you have blocks, if you wanna stay up on your hands or your forearms, up to you. Staying right here for a couple of breaths in this runner's lunge or lizard. And you can go on the side, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm going on the edge of my foot here if you want, if that's comfortable. <sighs> Finding your breath here, we really rose and elevated the breath during that sequence, and now we're kind of bringing it down, but actively as we're stretching our hip flexors and building strength. Bring your hands down to the floor. Remove any props at the bottom. Heel to your foot out to the center. Lift the back toes if they're not already lifted. Take a breath and come on up. Exhale your hands down to heart center. Tuck your belly in and then hook your elbow to your knee. Twisted prayer. So I'm pressing into my hands and I'm really opening up my chest. Big breath in. Exhale. Release. Step back to plank. Push back. Downward facing down. Take a big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Look up towards the top. Copper step to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, your hands come all the way up. Exhale, your hands down to heart center. Inhale, your hands back up. And then as you exhale, sit down for chair pose. Now, if you have a block, I highly recommend you put it between your inner thighs like so. So when you sink down, you're pressing into them, so you're working and engaging them. If you don't have a block, totally fine. Just make sure that your knees are tracking with your hips and your toes. So sitting down, so it looks from the side. Track your knees behind your toes. Bring the shoulders down. We're here in chair pose. Abs come up and in. Stay here. Come on up. Exhale, release. If you have a block, go ahead and remove it. Place your hands on your shins, straighten out your spine. Exhale, release. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. I'm gonna face you for this. We're going into tree pose. You're gonna root down through your left leg, the right comes up at your ankle, calf, or up on your inner thigh. No knees, please. So I'm gonna to go to my calf. Uh, find a good focal point. Press into your hands. And if you want, you can grow your branches. We're here for a couple of breaths. 
focus. It's okay to wobble. Bring your hands back to center. Inhale your knee up and lower down. Helicopter your hands out, sway side to side. And let's switch sides. So you're gonna root down through your right. The left is coming to your ankle, calf, or up on your inner thigh. Whatever you prefer to do, just no knees, please. So pull in my calf again, find a focal point. Engage, Ooh, engage your abs, press into your hands, open up. If you want, you can grow your branches and it's okay to sway. Big breaths here. Bring your hands back to center. Lift the knee up and lower it down. Sway side to side. Beautiful. So if you're here at the top of your mat, inhale your hands up. Exhale, lower down. Place your hands on your shins, straighten the spine. Exhale, release. Step back to plank. Let's hold it here for 30 seconds. This can be hard, but you got this. We're gonna press the floor away from us. And if you're like, oh my gosh, it hurts, you can step your foot side to side, which to be honest, actually makes it harder, but it gives your mind something to do. We're here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Push back, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Inhale, the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, step it all the way through, half pigeon. Back left leg is straight. Right shin is coming across the front. Make sure your hips are parallel to the front. And go ahead and lower down for half pigeon, stretching out that outer thigh, just for a couple counts here. One more breath in. Place your hands on the mat, curl your back toes, push back, three legged dog, lower down. I'm afraid I'm going to hit the sledge, that's why I keep like, <laughs> hesitating with where my foot is going. And bring the left all the way through, step it through, the right comes back, shin comes parallel to the front of the mat if you can do it, if not, just have your hips parallel. And lower down on your forearms, couple of breaths here. And press your hands on the mat, curl your back toes, push back, three-legged dog, coming back to downward facing dog, lower your knees down, swing your feet in front, and before we lower all the way down, let's do one pose of Navasana, inhale your hands up, feet come up, let's do a couple of breaths here. Beautiful, lower down, and come all the way down to the mat. We're gonna bookend our practice the way we started. Press your feet into the ground, take a breath in, push your hips up for bridge pose. Stay here. See if you can push your hips up a couple more inches, but don't let your knees jot out. Keep them here, keep them tucked in. If you have a block, this is a great place to put a block in between those inner thighs, press into those thighs. Breath and go ahead and lower down one vertebrae at a time. Bring your feet, your knees up to your chest, rock side to side. Lower down to the left. Bring your hands out to a T, look to the right for easy supine twist. Big breath in. Release, go ahead and swing your knees to the other side. Look to the left. Big breath in, release. Bring your knees up through center, rub out to the outsides of your feet for happy baby, rock side to side, massaging out your spine. Beautiful. 
forward. Now we're going to bring our knees together. Give them a nice big squeeze. Exhale. Go ahead and release your feet out. Make some space for Shavasana. Take a big breath in here. Open mouth, exhale. These next few moments are just for you to settle down, to relax, to absorb the practice. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Inhale your hands up overhead. Bring your knees into your chest. Roll over to the left. Use your bicep as a pillow. Take a second here. Tell yourself something kind. Breathe it in. Press yourself up to a seated position. Bring your hands into heart center. Take a big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Thank you for joining me for class. Have a great day.